We planned our journey from Fairfield to Ketchum, Idaho. It is the middle of the day when we got to Fairfield. Then we stopped for information at the Tourist Information Center, which is made of Union Pacific train caboose. A lady there was kind and tried to be helpful as much as she can. We got a map from there. Then we headed north on Soldier Road. Then it turns to Soldier Creel Road. We turned right when we met FS094. This is a nice footage looking down the road we drove, which is well-maintained dirt road. Then turn right when we got to FS227, also called Little Smoky Road. Warswick Hot Spring was about two miles from there. We spent a night there. Hot Spring is unsafe condition because of cattle roaming open range with animal waste by the streams. It was very cold in the morning in the middle of August. So, we left right after dawn. We continued to drive RS-227 over the mountain. It became greener eastern side of slopes. There are scars of forest fire, more cattle, fallen tree trunk on the road that we had to remove it and some debris. As we closer to Ketchum, terrains are getting flatter. Ketchum is surrounded by stunning landscapes, including blue skies, clear waterways, and endless hiking, mountain biking trails, and skiing. The town has a rich history, originally serving as a mining and livestock center. It is the place where grave of Ernest Hemingway, who is Nobel Prize winner in literature. Ketchum offers a high quality of life with a small town feel, making it a great place for both residents and visitors. We paid our respect to this great American novelist. Visitors left some drinks and especially pens and pencils on Tombstone. Thank you for watching.